times and I can't seem to find a light Gee, the walls I built for myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before Now, when I got you, it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and hello my beautiful family welcome back to another video in today's video i just wanted to do some little cleaning there are a couple of things i would like to do in the house yeah i've not been having that space to clean the house but today today is saturday yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna be trying to do some little cleanings i'm just gonna be doing the living room then some other time or any time within the week i can pick another room and then clean okay so if you are new to my channel or this is your very first time you are coming across my channel you are most welcome my name is wendy and i really appreciate you for clicking on this video for my old and returning subscribers you guys are awesome thank you so much so if you've not subscribed to my channel consider clicking on that red subscribe button and remember to turn on your notification bell while at it so that each time i upload a new video you will not miss any of my upload yeah so uh i will definitely carry you guys along on my today's activities i have like i said i have a couple of things i would like to do so make sure you keep on watching and i will see you guys much later all right so in here i'm trying to clean up the kitchen and i'm using my long broom to uh, sweep the floor i'm really doing this so quickly because i don't want my boy to wake up and meet me doing this because once he wake up it's more like every of my plan for the day is being ruled because he would not want me to uh, kind of carry him or play with him so that is why i'm kind of uh, doing everything in a hurry to just to make sure i finish up before he wake up so i usually like using my broom to clean the house because it helps to pack all the dirt as in when i mean all the dirt to me i prefer using my broom in as much as i have vacuum cleaner i only use my vacuum cleaner for my uh, mat maybe my rug and all that i don't usually use it on the bare floor so that is what you see me doing here I have tried using my vacuum cleaner on the hardwood but I feel like it's really giving it a mark so since then 
I stopped using the vacuum cleaner on the hardwood. Guys, let me know in the comment box below, do you guys use your vacuum cleaner on the hardwood? If you do, can you recommend anyone that is good that I can be using that will help to pack all the dirt? And also, if I have anything like a sand, or will I say sand? It won't be any dirt. It will help to pack it without giving it any scratch on the hardwood. Let me know in the comment box below. If you do have such, please recommend one for your sister, okay? Thank you so much. Okay guys, guess who just woke up? Sugar boy just woke up now. And the very first thing I do for him each time he woke up is to give him water first. That yeah, sit. Sit. Sit, let me give you water. Okay? He just wanted to take some water. Take. Are you okay? Uh. Hmm? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, thank God I've already done my intro before he came down because that would have been a hectic one. He always dragged my camera each time he see me uh, carry camera. I don't know, he wants to talk or something. I have no idea. Each time he would just want to kind of hold the camera and be blabbing, you know, normal kids talk. What? Give me now. Let me go and keep it. You're done, right? Are you done? Hmm? Yeah, come and give mama a hug. Come and give mommy a hug. Yeah? How was your night? Yeah, come. Let me know how was your night. How was your night? Hmm? Did you sleep well? Hmm? Did you dream of mama? Hmm? Yeah, tell me. Tell me how was your night? Mm. How was your night? Mm. You slept well. Do you know what's the time now? This is more like 11 o'clock. Mm. This is more like 11 o'clock and you're just waking up. Mm? Mm. Yeah. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some food for him. Then once I'm done making his food, I will quickly make uh, pasta for the kids because very soon they will be on lunch. They normally go for their lunch around 12 and this is more like to 11 i think yeah so i will quickly make their lunch and also i want to make some smoothies for them they've been telling me to make smoothies so i will make smoothies as well for them so that once they finish their lunch they will also use that one as a snack yeah so basically that is it okay so let's go make some food for the baby of the house and also for the big kids as well so i just finished uh, uh, feeding my boy and right now i felt like it would be better for me to finish up the cleaning before I will go into cooking but before i will start cooking i have to uh, kind of take his bath first then once i am done i will then come back to the kitchen to make some uh food for my family yeah my girl so guys i'm already making the pasta for the kids and right now the pasta is on the fire but because my children have already told me they don't want the veggies i sure if i can make it plain but i don't want to make the pasta without putting any veggies see it is not nutritious so what i would do i'm gonna be blending all of them like i have this green pepper i have this red bell pepper and also onion i'm gonna be blending everything it's not gonna be smooth that smooth so i will blend everything together and then use it as my sauce yeah in that case i don't think they will complain and everybody will eat their food peacefully <laughs> yeah so that's what i'm about to do right now i've already uh, brought out my blender let me set this well
model. Agreed? Yeah. Agreed? Yeah. First to finish, I will give the person smoothie. So I've already brought out the smoothie from the fridge. Okay? Once I finish making it, I will give you. Paper eyes. Yes, I will put eyes. Yeah. Well, you have to make sure you show me your plate and you finished everything. Right? Remember, I want you to add, right? Good. Yeah, from Zebra. Mm -hmm. Hello, fam. How are you all doing? I know it's almost uh, some hours I dropped this camera. I once I finished with the kids, I went upstairs to go take my own bath, and right now I'm done yeah so how are you all doing i hope you guys are safe i hope you all are doing amazing so i was discussing with a friend the other time and uh, we just started discussing about you know normal life and also family and all that so she was like <coughs> sorry guys she was like if i've started talking about maybe sexual life for my daughters i said yes why not you know <laughs> I told her why not a lot of things are happening i have started way back as in because each time i'm taking their bath i used to tell them even when i'm not taking their baths we have what we call our family meeting when we are having our family meeting i do discuss it with them i will tell them see your body is meant for you nobody is meant to touch you if anybody touch your body please try and report tell me tell your daddy or you tell your teacher if he's in school tell somebody always make sure you talk please talk i do say that my girls they know even way a uh, few days back i was like telling my daughter mitchell that we have discussion you remember she was like laughing yeah <laughs> mommy that she remember so she was even the one telling me mommy remember you said we have talk we have what we call girls talk you know you we need to create that rapport with our girls so Parents, if you're a mother out there, please, if you're a mother out there watching me or you have a sibling or a little one or you are an auntie or whatever, please, we need to create that rapport. We need to tell these children what they need to know because it's going to help them and it's going to help us too as mothers. So I let her understand that I have started. I do talk to my girls even till today, no matter in as much as my kids are still small. But I don't joke with that. I tell them, even my boy, I tell them, see, nobody should touch you. There is something a friend, a friend of mine sent to me the other time. And when I saw that, I was so, so happy. I liked it. And I've been sharing it with my girl as well. She has to be reading it every now and then. It says, uh, girls only, my body belongs to me. From age three, imagine from age three to age eight you know so this is it i don't know if you guys can see this very well then when you scroll up if you are scrolling up you will see this one says i am i am a beautiful girl it's more like an affirmation for your girls you know i am a beautiful girl then if you scroll again this one said god made me a girl god made me a girl you know if you keep on scrolling this one said i don't want to be a boy you try and again in this land we are there are so many things that are happening if you are not careful your own will slip out of your hand but that is not our prayer our prayer is that the efforts that we are making we are embarking on these children we all will reap the fruit of our labors what am i trying to say here i am just trying to say this thing just came up in my mind and i felt like it would be nice if i can share it with you guys out there so i felt like if your mother out there is just a little advice please let's try as much as we can to draw our girls closer let's try as much as we can there's nothing like shame you know tell them that nobody should touch them even if it happens they should open their mouth they should have you as a confidant they should open their mouth and tell you mommy or daddy or auntie this and this happened and with that you will know what to do but if they don't have that free mind if they don't relate well with you 
how would they be able to say such? They cannot. So it's always advisable that we create that rapport with our kids, you know, and that will go a long way for us. So this thing that my friend sent to me, I like it so much. And I've started, I, I printed it out. My girl, this is their goal. They go through it on every day. They have to read it. It's more like an affirmation for kids. I don't know if you, any one of you need this. This is a very nice one. I must tell you the single truth. If you're a mother out there and you would want to have something like this, uh, DM me on my Instagram. I'm going to be leaving my Instagram uh, handle on this screen. DM me or you, or you check my description box or somewhere up here or here. You will definitely see my Instagram uh, handle and I will send it to you. It will help us in as much as we are doing this. Let's not forget to remember these children in prayer because it's not easy. A lot of things are happening out there. Please, I don't want to talk about what is happening out there. But I believe everyone that anybody that is watching this video, you guys will be able will understand with me that so many things are happening out there. And the earlier we try as much as we can, the better for all of us. Yeah, so that is the little coin I just said. Let me come in here and share with you guys. Then there is another good news, guys. <laughs> There is another good news, guys. Okay, so my parcel just came in today. Yeah, let me bring it, guys. I have something that just came in today. No, not today. It came in two days ago, yeah. This is a package. I will be opening, unboxing this with you guys. And you will see what is inside here. I'm super excited about this this package. You know why? You know why I'm excited? Let me drop this camera so that we can be seeing each other. So guys, I am so excited about this package. Okay? You know why? This is something I've been kind of lazy about on how to get it. It's not that I cannot get it, but I don't know for some reason. I don't know why I've not taken it that, that uh, serious. Not until... One second, guys. Oops. Okay. So this is the package. <laughs> yeah, so this is the package. I've been trying to get this. It's not that I cannot get it, but I don't know. I've been lazing about over this. Not until I watched Abby and Family's uh, channel where she unboxed this and she showed, she made a video on that, on how it can clean your uh, brush. Guys, I don't need to show you guys how my makeup brush is. <laughs> Honestly, it needs some cleaning. So I'm going to be showing you guys how this works because I watched that video very well and I saw how she demonstrated it and it was super amazing honestly i don't want to talk too much i'm going to show you guys how it works then make sure to continue watching because i will tell you another good thing that will help you if you really want to purchase this which i see that is very very nice for everyone if you're a lady out there and you make up and you have makeup brush it will be nice you get one of this for yourself from the very first thing i have here when i opened it is this manual you know there is a guideline on how you can use the product yeah so i have this this is more like i think is the handle okay and it came with a purse and i have this cute little jar yeah and some accessories inside this um, okay yeah it came with some accessories i think this has to do with uh, balls i don't know so these are the knots as in depending on the type of brushes that you have and it has another thing which i feel like is the stand where you will put your brush okay 
so i'm gonna install it and i will show you guys how this works when i was watching abby and family and i saw how she performed this i said wow this is really interesting that i'm gonna get this for myself as in it has been long overdue so this is the time for me to get it for myself and i'm so happy that it's now arrived i got it for myself and it arrived okay so guys the experiment begins i'm gonna be showing you how this works i've already fixed everything and from the manual that i read the only thing we need here is just water and also a soap so i have them here so i'm gonna be pouring in my water here okay so many people will tell you that they use microwave to wash their brushes i have no idea why i will use microwave to wash my brushes you know but with this one i think this is very very better yeah so i'm gonna be dropping in some touch of soap inside okay then i have here my brush i've already fixing my brush in this this is okay let me show you guys how i did it it's just detachable and you have this more knot that you fix in here when you fix it it sits down well then you fix this one in here and that's it this uses a battery i've already gone ahead to put the battery here so this is the awning i'm gonna be putting it inside my water and here it goes can you guys see wow it's really really cleaning off this brush honestly I cannot wait to see a new brush yeah okay so I think he's done now he's drying this brush and the good part of this is that it will clean the brush and also dry the brush as well for you it's not the one that you will finish maybe washing your brush and you will be like looking for where to dry the brush can you guys see this okay so i'm gonna go ahead i think it's dry right now i'm gonna go ahead and stop it okay guys you need to see this this brush is as dry as any other thing yeah can you see meanwhile this video is not a sponsored video but I hope sometime it might be sponsored. I don't mind. But for now, this video is not sponsored. I bought this with my ad hem money. So guys, can you see? It's done. And the good part of this, guys, in case if you want to have this um, brush cleaner, hmm? the good news about this is that there is a percentage as in 10% off if you use Abby and Family's code. I'm going to be leaving it in the description box in case if you want to get any of you that want to buy it or you can DM me in Instagram or you can chat Abby and family in Instagram or you can watch her video. I always have her video in my channel. When you look in my community, you will see one of her videos or you search her Abby and family. Yeah, be rest assured that they are going to give you 10%. So. I think I'm loving the product and the name of the company is uh, Finmax uh, Cosmetics. So guys, I'm going to be ending this vlog here and this is just like my everyday random kind of video, everyday uh, struggle as a mom of four living in diaspora. Yeah, and I hope you guys had fun watching this video. I really want to appreciate all my subscribers and all my viewers. You guys are really, really incredible. If you've watched this video to this moment, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling myself. I don't know if it's because of this hat. Yeah, so many people have DM me and asked me, babe, where are you getting all these hats from? Okay, so I got this hat from Amazon. You guys have already known that. I've said the time with that number. I get more of, most of them. Yeah, most of them. There is one I got from AliExpress, but this one, I got it from Amazon. And I love it. You know, when I feel like I just wanted to kind of chill, I will just put on the hat and I'm good to go. Yeah, so 
today is another day that i feel like i have to just wear this and that's why you guys see me in as much as it didn't fit my outfit i don't see any color in it that fits the outfit but i'm not going anywhere i'm in the house yeah i plan going out but on getting outside i noticed that it's raining but meanwhile i'm not in that mood so i decided to kind of chill inside you yeah. so that is it for this vlog today yeah thank you so very much fam for watching and stay blessed stay safe make sure you keep on smiling make sure you keep on wearing a smiling face because you know when you smile you look much younger than how you are yeah so keep on smiling until i see you guys in my next video i love you all Mwah. bye